גם, זה הייתי דבר? טוי ויטה. אבל, זה הפרדיסיון, או סיילן. You have to have loads of money, and you go to enjoy. Come to Ibiza. Come to Ibiza. Vario, tip. Vario, tip. Que hay mucho vario, pinto de gente. She said that the best is the multicultural people all the time, party, you know, all the time. And we are here... From the people with a big cocodril. Big cocodril, no, from the Basque country. Big cocodril here to the people with, you know, like... We are, you know, we are all, we eat MDA. Yes, the multicultural is the best in Ibiza. Look at the people. This is the... We are Ibiza people. And the drugs. Ibiza people. We just finished school, so we wanted to party. And that's about it. We're from Italy, so we're from Italy. Yeah, we're from Ibiza. It's a great place to party. We came here. We love party. Basically, what? Right there, right there. Party all day. Party on my beach. Beach sun. Beautiful people. Very good looking people. Very good looking people. That know how to have a good time. Everybody's here. Everyone's out there having a good time. Exactly. It's got to be the people. It's the way you can come here and feel free enough to do anything you want to do. Be who you want to be. You know what I love? I love the international feel. The international feel is fantastic. You've got someone from Holland, someone from Brazil, someone from Canada, someone from Spain within half a foot. It's just fun and crazy and wild and, you know, everybody's happy. Everybody wants to have fun. You just throw the problems away. They have the really, really biggest, <laughs> loudest, best parties at Ibiza. Yeah, yes. they have. So if you want to enjoy yourself, get okay. a plane. We have get much over problems here in our country. Come to Ibiza. This. Look around. This. Everything. Music, sun, babes, chicks, weather, friends. Best place in the world. Yeah. Well, you can ask every clubber that's here on this island, every clubber that's here at the moment. Ibiza is the island that has most clubs and the best atmosphere for since 1990, since 1988 really, since the summer of love. No, what you read about Ibiza in the media is not, <laughs> it's not <laughs> false, it's true, but you can make of Ibiza what you want to make of Ibiza. Definitely. Yes, so if you want to have a laid back holiday, you can. If you want to party all night, all day, seven weeks, I don't care, it can be done in Ibiza. What I love best about this island is um, the island, the, it's the island itself. I think that's what I love most. It's just a party, it is a party island, but on the same note, you don't have to be up there in the club dancing up with tits and dancing on bars. And you'll be sitting out on the beach, chilled out, talking to really friendly people. It's just a very chilled out place. I think everybody who comes here, comes here for different reasons, but your ulterior motive is we can all come together and be as one. That's what, that is what I believe it's all about, baby. To be honest, it's different things every year, but the fact that I have to do absolutely nothing every day. Every year is the party scene, the people, the environment, everything. It's just it's got a lot of history. There's, the world goes way back from like late 50s to 60s. There's always been a music culture there. And underground music's just been born there and that's what drew me over there. I actually got booked over there when I was, I was 16 years old, went over there and did my first gig. So, yeah, it's just got, it's got a spiritual feeling about it. You, you sense it when you're over there. There is a drug scene here. There is a drug scene all over the world. Right? I come from London, so obviously I'm, there is a drug scene. There's a drug scene everywhere, right? There's no getting away from it. There's no denying it. But, I think the drug scene is pretty cool. They don't lay it on heavy with nobody. There's no big killings. There's no big fights. So therefore the drug scene can't be that heavy. The people goes here for the same thing. You know what I mean? Everyone's come here to take drugs. It's too easy to take. Uh... About the drugs? Issues on? No pressure? I'm just playing you. It's not. All right. It's not forbidden. You understand me? Everyone can do what whatever, what he, what he thinks. You know, at the beach, at the disco, and on the street. It's everywhere. You know. If they're there, it's 
take him. Him. Don't take him. <laughs> um, well, you know, you've yeah, they're very easy to get off. Um, Tom! I think anyone will tell you that. Um, Tom, Tom, Tom! But that's the, that's the culture, isn't it? That's the lifestyle. That's why a lot of people can't beat. They let their hair down, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot of places you can do it, a lot of ways you can do it. And it's, that's it. That's it. It's easy. No problems. No, no problems. Then no. <laughs> no. 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 You're a car too. Um, I'm really poor. I need free drugs. Please. You want, if you want more ecstasy, you can get it for me. Yeah. You want LSD? LSD? You know LSD? You want LSD? No problem. No problem. See, at home it's like, who does drugs? Because everyone, everyone else doesn't. But over here, the minority is like, well, who doesn't do drugs? Um, me, my friend, no drugs. No, no drugs? No, no, no. Only, only drink. Drink, yes. Drugs, but no. No, no drugs. Bling, bling, round two. Yes! Oh! I feel it, my boy! I feel it, my feet! <laughs> Damn! I feel it, my feet! Hardly anybody's on them, you don't need them. The music just gets you going, so you don't need drugs at all, do you? It's here if you need it, and if you don't need it, you don't need it. But it's here if you need it. Now many drugs. Back. You take any? No. Yeah. I went to El Divino at Miss Money Penny's, and I was sitting on the terrace. I was so fucked. I was thought I was sitting on a chair. Decided to lean back and fell straight over the terrace, down onto the rocks, and into the sea. I don't use drugs. Let's really, let's let's be simple about it. I just like alcohol and my girlfriend. That's it. And uh, I don't mind people taking drugs, but they should be careful with it. And that's you now. I know that we're in Europe. We're farther with drugs than in America. I mean, that's zero tolerance policy in America, which is good because I think that drugs. You know, if, if you take something into uh, illegal, if you make like for instance uh, some parts of drug legal, then it, it always get problems with the other. Just, you know, drugs will always be a problem, but I just wish that the people who use drugs use it wisely. They use it for their own benefit, not to um, ruin somebody else or convince somebody else. Just, you know, let's let's all be happy and not, you know, if one person goes down, it ruins the atmosphere of the, of the whole night. Yeah. And it ruins everybody's night. So just use it wisely, then it's no problem with me. Well, basically, we don't do drugs. No, do no, no, no. Someone just forced two fucking down my throat about ten minutes ago, and uh, I can't. No, you no, did no, that no, to no. me. Oh, no, you did that to me. No, you did it uh, to me. me. This here is a bag of ecstasy, which is I get this, buy these in bulk from Amsterdam. They come straight from Amsterdam. Get them from a Spanish guy that owns a bar down the road. And this, I'll just show you them up close. What people in RV for are taking? If we can open the fucking bag. Sorry for swearing on the uh, camera. Okay, and these, I don't know what these are yet, but these are lips. Blue lips. I know these are very pure, very clean. And I pay I pay about three three fifty euros for one of these when you buy them in bulk. And people out here buy them for ten. Ten euros. So there you go. It's the craziest thing I've seen it. Probably a vision of myself about two days ago. <laughs> we went uh, to Bora Bora. We started drinking heavily at Bora Bora, out, loads of alcohol. Then we decided to go to Garland's. So we go to Garland's and we decide to pop a few pills. Double drop in, etc, etc. Before you know it, we're absolutely upside down and wrecked. Well, there are a lot of crazy things really. But the, the crazy things don't have, ever happen in the public. They always happen in the little back rooms, I think. Um, well, you know, the English are fond of their drugs, and we, we, we Dutch people, we can get everything, so it's no fun for us to be with drugs, so, but we can have fun with the English, you can. So we drove back to 
fucking El Divino, where me and my friend Mincer was absolutely gurning our tits off, pulling face at the bouncer, and the bouncer refused entry at El Divino, so we thought, no way, we can't let this happen. So me and my friend walked round to the back of El Divino, climbed over the wall, and jumped in for free at El Divino. We swapped t-shirts because then we thought we wouldn't recognise us. <laughs> so we got free. I always made just sat on the terrace going, what the fuck are you doing in here? The craziest thing I've seen is a man collapsed in midday blistering heat on the pavement in San Antonio, clutching a loaf of bread with a pool of melted butter next to him. He was collapsed on the corner like in all the drains, like monkey sewage water. A loaf of bread next to cuddled like this. Pool of butter next to him, like he'd gone to the shop and just like collapsed. Some bloke trying to order a drink from me when I'm spinning came over and he wanted to find me because I wouldn't serve him a drink. I said, Look, This is the DJ booth, the bar's over there. And he continued to get really leery with me, so we, we had a little bit of a, a kerfuffle. Oh, amazing. Cafe Del Mar, place to be, man. Especially, yeah. I mean, They're amazing. Uh, like when you're coming down, there's no better way than to just watch sunset. Uh, sunsets are really popular here, yeah. and they, they are, especially around Cafe Del Mar and coastline here, where we're sitting now. Um, but it's, uh, sunsets are a phenomenal.
house in the world. Um, it's the biggest club I've ever been to. It's always packed out, full of crazy people doing crazy things, big swimming pool. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's crazy. So basically, so we're taking the pay. seven years, eight years ago, went to my mission. Thought it was fantastic. Yeah, because it's just something you've never experienced before. You go now, it's just a bit, oh, Japanese tourists and all that kind of thing. It's like, you come here, everyone's taking photos, it's not a clubbing experience at all. But it's a tourist attraction. Um, well, my mission's really good, I really enjoy playing there. Um, I think the thing about my mission is that they put a lot of effort into the shows, like have trapeze artists, dancers and everything. It's like going to see Cirque du Soleil, it was a fantastic uh, stage performance. Yeah, brilliant dancers. So you stand there watching going, oh god, yeah, it's really, really good. It's yeah. not a club, it's not a club, it's a theatre. But for that reason, as long as you're accepted for that, it's fair enough, it's alright. We were doing a party called Mania Mission in Manchester and that ended there in 94 and we were organized and, and that ended abruptly and we came here on holiday and uh, got offered a chance to do this club cool, it's called, it was called coup back then and uh, we started in a small side room over there where you see all the people partying now and uh, and it grew to be the whole club and it's still here nine years on you know? We are going to go club.
parents aren't going to come on holidays because all the kids are back in school. So all the family resorts are dead. And all of the madness resorts are dead as well because people are either going home to sort out the debts that they've conjured up for the whole summer on drink and drugs and everything else you can imagine, or they're going back to college. Um, all the nightclubs are closed down, all the, all the closing parties are at the end of September and we've got you no know, amnesia closing and privilege closing. The mainland Spain people that are working here just head back to mainland Spain and all you have left is eight people and they're just the people that are going to be dead. And everything else is going to fall. Everybody is going to fall. Everybody.